You have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Tobul Bekor. There are no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, with a by bolt plow or hook provide for your dwarves. You were expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings. Here the jaguars get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. A Gathgeshud. Jungle fortress. Strike the earth. Okay, guys, we are officially here. We are in the jungles. After the king himself sent us on this expedition. So let's make sure that we make this outpost right now. We came. We actually came with an elephant, which is pretty great. Very useful, actually. We could train this for war or for anything really. A uh, elephant will be very useful to defend us. As we look around our surroundings, there are a lot of trees here. We should make most of our stuff from wood for the beginning at least, before we get some rocks. I think there's an aquifer here, but there's literally an aquifer in almost every place that I embark. So I guess we just have to deal with those individually. There's this strange formation right here, almost 90 degrees. It's like one of those South American jungles where you just have those big 90 degree mountains like this this has no ramps it's just open space and here we see the brooks are also just open space like no nothing it just drops it's like a canyon there is a lake east of us as you can see we just we came right here there is a lake east of us we are pretty far away from our starting civilization it's right there we went directly west right here near the lake there are a lot of elves around us, a lot of humans around us and goblins around us too. The humans and goblins are at war with us actually. And there are there's actually a cobalt fortress near us, which is pretty rare since you don't see many cobalts. And you especially don't see many cobalts building fortresses out here. As you can see, there are two hills right here. I think we're going to make it in the bigger hill. Like we could make some statues or something right here. Like this is a very natural... 90 degree curve like we don't have to hollow everything out ourselves it's already been hollowed out pretty much for like two levels we just have to get rid of this one level and we'll have like a 3z level tall building or something to make our fortress entrance out of like just make a gigantic entrance with like two giant statues i don't know what we're going to do with this smaller hill i will get to the when we get there i think we should make our first house right here we shouldn't make it in the big hill like that. Like we, there's not a lot of us anyway. Second, a new migrant wave comes in. We're going to get to work building our actual main fortress. Right now, let's just build the smallest for fortress that we can to fit all of the seven dwarves that come with us. We have two ducks in our surroundings. We have five hens, one rooster, a yak bull, an elephant, a male cat and a female cat so hopefully they'll reproduce and we'll get some kittens in case things go bad we can eat the kittens but whatever and we we can train this elephant for war and hunting like how, how does that work how do you hunt with an elephant <laughs> how do you hunt with an elephant like this game makes no sense sometimes <laughs> just horse trip. like imagine hunting with an elephant like that's <laughs> We we'll start building our fortress. We wouldn't even call this a fortress. We we'll just call this a temporary home. So she's going to build a chamber for our workshops, another hallway for our farm plots, and our. We we'll we actually need to make like a chamber for our militia commander and stuff. We I'll get to this. I'll make this in a moment. You, you guys wait. I'll show you guys the de completed design. So here's the completed design. Our dwarves are actually going in and completing it. And it's going downwards. Straight downwards. So we can hit some rocks. Because we need to make something with rocks. Like, wait, let me just stop this right here. This, I thought there'd be rocks down here. It, but it did say that the soil would be very deep. And yes, indeed, the soil is very, very deep down into the earth. There's like six Z levels down. That's a lot of soil. Never seen that much soil. We'll just make this farm plot. But it's a good thing, you know, that means farming will be a lot easier in, a, in the fortress. This, we won't have to like make the ground wet constantly and like move floodgates around and dig channels just to make the water go down and 
moisturize the ground to make our farm plots we i think we should cut down these trees first before we try digging a channel or anything before we chisel out this whole mountain entrance that we have right here we're just taking advantage of the naturally occurring geographical thing i guess it's very awesome like this this is so cool i, I wasn't expecting something this cool to show up this early in the game pretty awesome i'm thinking of making like something else for our for like something new i know we should set everyone's name to something i mean these are the founding people like tuna over here is our bodyguard he's got his silver swords and stuff he's a good guy i think we should just set them all as founders they since they are the seven founders of this fort they will all do equal work i mean they all done the equal amount of effort into this they will be the first people in this fortress after all they deserve respect and yeah so we may we're making our fortress bigger down here is going to make this another hallway we're going to make two hallways down here and I'm, i'm still figuring out like i'm thinking make this one big dining room then just make this hallway another hallway for bedrooms so we'll think more about this when more migrants come in we'll think more oh my i just made like 20 beds accidentally it's just forgot uh, i just made like 20 beds uh, i guess it's good we'll have extra beds for all the migrants that come in all the beds are placed is going to make more doors i guess we even have the little militia commander zone for two over there who's our bodyguard he is now our militia commander too he's going to protect our fortress like as you can see there there he is we're just going to set him up to train so he can grab all of his gear there he goes grabbing all of his gear he's go he's go there you he go he's got a silver short sword and some copper armor because the copper armor was the best we could afford right now our civilization isn't exactly very rich our civilization can't even afford like copper leggings and greaves so we had to make do you know like we're kind of like the last hope of this for civilization <laughs> so no pressure this is why the king sent us here in the first place we are the last hope of this civilization if we don't do something the elves and goblins are just going to overrun us so we have to make this fortress count otherwise i guess our whole for civilization is doomed anyway hopeful hopeful words aside it was going to simple really we won't have to channel out that big of a hole into the mountain since it's just most of it is done for us there are some floating pieces of silt and i don't know how we're going to deal with that i think i think the first method of dealing with that silt is like building a bridge or something to that silt and then just channeling it anyway we're just going to build more bedrooms so. yeah let's just mine this whole thing mine this whole thing I don't know. I think yeah, I think this will be good. Yeah, this. It won't be that hard even. Like most of this is just silt and loam and soil and dirt. Like none of this is rock. So digging through this is going to be pretty easy for our miners. Our founder right here the too busy harvesting plants. I think I should have set up the labor more easily. I didn't even make a full stock pile yet. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, we should. Our bodyguard isn't sleeping in his barracks for some reason. Like we need him up there in or in case something bad happens or something bad attacks us. We need him up there so he can come in and fight that thing quickly before you know we die. So, but he's just sleeping down here with the rest of us. So I I guess he just the I guess he just misses us you know he's scared he doesn't want to sleep up there all alone 
in his big barracks in his big barracks ba- barracks <laughs> yeah we are building like a big we are building like a big stockpile right here food stockpile this thing that we're digging out this big hallway right here there's going to be our food stockpile and stuff i think we're just going to set that stockpile to all items so that all our dogs can just store all of the items that we need up from the fortress down here i hope we get some migrants soon because this is hard work even for like seven dogs this is hard work i'm going to assign all of the dogs bedrooms right here now so that they all sleep properly no bedroom for two of course because he's got his bedroom upstairs in his barracks now we have one extra bed i made way more doors than i should have you're going to set the stockpile up right here yeah i think this is going to be an all stockpile let me just you know, tweak this stockpile up a bit yeah yes i think this is going to be an all stockpile set for all items uh, i think should i just make it food let's just make it food just make it a food stockpile we are going to make a jewelers right here because we have a lot of gems i guess we have a lot of gems like we need to be cutting because before winter as they said there's going to be a dwarven trade caravan coming in and something collapsed on the surface oh god what happened oh, ah yes, yes the city loam came now i think it's going to be fine i don't think anything bad is going to ash ah, oh no um oh uh, kogan kogan died that's his corpse right there he 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 died oh my god oh no. And that's one of our founders he just died yeah let's just stop this stop this right now this is way like it's just dirt i thought it wouldn't be that harmful it's just it's just dirt it's just loam i thought he'd be fine he he just died oh god that we already lost one of our dwarfs for the stupidest reason to like we just lost him for no reason stupid stupid reasons yeah he just his body is coated with loam like it's coated with loam it's coated with loam is coated with loam like just lines and lines of coated with loam he is just collapsed under all of this dust poor guy yeah we sh- we should make our first theory happen like build build kind of like wooden bridges to these hanging silty loam floor places and so we can just dig it up properly we may just build build the stairs up yes build up the stairs and now that we build up the stairs this will be going to be a lot easier to get to the top of that mountain because there's literally no way to get up to the top of that mountain and that mountain is absolutely unreachable by anyone else like that's very good actually we could make that like a defensive part of the fortress you know we could have archer towers that just shoot down on the sieging attackers or something like that like this fortress is making my mind fill up with ideas i like it very much like all of the ideas revolve around this cliff this cliff is going to be our entrance and our defense pathway to like everything is reliant on this like this has to be perfect in this just tunnel everything i think they'll be too busy to tunnel over this because they like constructing stuff takes a higher priority for them than digging stuff like yeah see they're constructing the buildings first before like we need another miner like now that kogan died sadly we just got to need another miner like we need someone who isn't doing anything really like we're us us founders at least the seven founders there's six of them now but we we should all pitch in like, oh oh it's a oh it's a cassowary these things are actually pretty dangerous to like normal human beings i don't i think we should stay away from this thing 
you know they're pretty dangerous to normal human beings <laughs> i don't want my dogs to be near it when that thing starts kicking and shit and constructing buildings too busy trying to channel it's just done channeling one thing right now oh and we are come the there's just two of them what are they doing there's like six oh they left <laughs> they left I th- I think they realized there was nothing in this fortress. There's just six guys, literally nothing else. There's nothing in this fortress for them to steal. They just left. I I guess we did start next to a necromancer tower. Even though like I don't see any necromancer towers on the f- map. I guess we did start near a one. So now they're just going to send sieges into us. It's going to be hard as hell. I just need more migrants like if we had more migrants I'm just making the tomb right here but if we had more migrants this would be so easy this would be so easy I hope they send more migrants from the kingdoms at least you know like there were rumors there were rumors that they would just leave us here fend for ourselves but I don't think the king would allow that right The king's a good guy. He's a good king. He wouldn't just leave us here to die. Migrants are bound to show up, right guys? I hope at least we're going to make Neil here a new miner. He's just he's just a fisher off. We don't need fish right now. We need someone to mine. Like right now we need someone to mine. That's our biggest priority. Yeah, Neil Neil's the only one who can do this. Like, he's too busy fishing though. <laughs> worried do i look worried <laughs> oh nil at least nil's honest i guess <laughs> worried do i look worried <laughs> oh nil yeah you should probably be worried like <laughs> barely a year like not, not even a year like barely a month passed by we already lost someone for the, like the dumbest reason possible we just dig a stairs right here we don't need to like construct stairs we can just dig stairs out of this silty loam hollow everything out we have oh we have migrants we just i just saw it like it went from 6 to 13 like let's look at our new migrants most of them are children oh my god they sent children over here man how, what how is this going to help us like they sent children and peasants over. oh look a dwarf would cut a necromancer is in that guy sure is interesting yeah. one of one of his professions is not like the other but i guess i mean how do you go from being a necromancer to a woodcutter i guess he found his calling his true calling you know raising corpses from the dead just isn't fun cutting wood that's that's really fun that's way more fun than raising corpses from the dead yeah mine this carefully you know like not this time is you going to mine around the giant silt towers as i like to call them is you going to mine around them so that we don't something doesn't collapse again and once we're done constructing and channeling that stuff we can just deconstruct this whole wooden bridge thing that we build using our logs yeah you're just going to one by one just deconstruct this whole thing carefully carefully Yeah. Oh my god, he fell. Oh my he's okay. Nil, no oh my crazy guy. Crazy. He just fell. Yeah, he just He up the channel so careful. There's nothing exactly above us to worry about. So just be careful. Yes. I'm scared like if we mine this another one another cave in will happen and just a huge wall of loam will come down on the miner and will he'll die just like Kogan did yeah he's just going to make another hallway for our like 13 dwarves this is totally working out right now so yeah miner hiccups aside like this this fortress might actually work out we have three children I I really like this was really 
terrible like why why would they send children they sent three children for no reason like who for no this this is a very serious fortress like there are we are being seized on by the undead and they're like yeah let's just send like a few children over there like who needs them? why would they need like grown ups they just send some children over there like it's not like they can do anything yep that's our king i forgot to build a trade depot let me just build a trade depot right here yeah yeah but and minor hiccup suicide again like this this is this going pretty well if i do say so myself like this is going pretty well trade depot is built you just yeah they're just mining now perfect careful care carefully yeah okay yeah just make this small thingy right here yeah yes i think we can get this done in like less than a month we can just channel this whole place out in less than a month with how fast our dwarves are doing this how fast our miners are moving we could definitely get this done in like a month we just have to be careful yeah just build stairs we just use the stairs like supports and ramparts make building easier and so that our dwarves don't die yeah let's just build some stairs we have like way we have way too much wood like if we cut so much wood like the elves might get angry at us but like who cares this is tree loving losers anyway who cares what they think Yeah. I mean the humans and goblins are already at war with us. <laughs> What happens if the elves are too like this is not exactly going to change much. Like we're being attacked by necromancers, we're going to get attacked by humans, we're going to get attacked by goblins. We really need to like think of something like a new kind of trap system because like we are going to be constantly under attack like and we need like a trap system that works for every race. like the undead like the humans and the goblins too like we can't just have one type of trap we need like different types of traps to like kill all of, all of the types of different attackers that we are attacking us yeah we just going to be constantly at war i'm starting to think the king sent us on a suicide mission i'm starting to think the king doesn't really care about the people that he sent on this expedition yeah I'm thinking this is more of a suicide mission than an actual mission. But chin up dogs will get through this. Yeah, yeah see more like the Z one an entire Z level has almost been caved in in like less than a week I guess. Yeah, we're totally going to make this in less than a month. It's right on track. We have more than enough time for like the merchant caravans and making stuff to actually sell to the merchant caravans. Yeah, we need like food and weapons and stuff. We need trap components to that. The trap components would be nice. Yeah, and I think we're going to end it once we've channeled like this whole thing out, and you guys can. definitely join us on the next week's episode where we'll actually start trading with the traders and if you guys have any ideas for like this design right here what design we should do for a, our fortress i'm thinking like two statues two giant statues on the entrance and like one giant hollowed out entrance that just goes inward into the fortress but like let me know what you guys think what kind of entrance we should make like there we have water we could pump the water up and make like a waterfall type and type entrance or something it would be pretty awesome like two giant statues with like water coming out of their mouths that would be pretty awesome right you guys let me know in the comments down below i want to hear your 
suggestions and ideas too like you guys have some pretty creative ideas i've seen it in the comments like make more beds for all of our colonists like who knew we get seven colonists for our first time it's not even been like a month since we've been here who knew i guess they i mean most of the colonists were children but like uh, bodies i guess extra help is extra help last of the silt pillars as i like to call them last of the silt pillars is just these four last pillars right now is going to be pretty easy like thankfully wood is a lot faster to work with than stone like we don't have to lug like massive boulders over just to make this stone stone stairs and then just destroy them the second after we're done channeling down all of this stuff grey langurs oh my the monkeys are attacking us there are monkeys out there uh where, where are they where are they like, well, i need to know they they might start stealing stuff we have to watch out for them yeah this pretty close to our fortress yeah they are very close to our fortress we need we need wow look at this it's it's all blooming it's summer right so like it's all blooming all these berries bushes and stuff dallas grasses and satin tails and stuff yeah it's all blooming pretty cool bloomed in like one second like i was look right in front of our eyes is going to get rid of these gray langurs and then we'll end the video right there yeah that'd be a good place to end the video yeah most of this is channeled out now channeling this is going to be pretty easy because like the silt pillars have officially been removed which is good we won't have to worry about anything falling on us yeah there's just one big pillar left and yeah i guess this is a good point to leave the leave off our video so that was the first episode of jungle fortress if you guys enjoyed this video like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one one week later